there's an aggressiveness to that to that art form that's a necessary corrective to the insistence that the highest moral virtue for a modern man is harmlessness which is absurd women don't even like harmless men they hate them they like to <laughs> claw them apart you know what what women want are dangerous men who are civilized and they want to help civilize them right? <laughs> That's Beauty and the Beast, the typical structure of, well, they didn't use those words, of female pornography use. And so some of you know, how many of you know what a Harlequin romance is? Okay, okay good. So th those are archetypal stories, right? That's the taming of the wild man, essentially, by the, by the desirable and virginal woman. And if you think women don't want that, then you better bloody well come up with an explanation for Fifty Shades of Grey, <laughs> right? Which is the most, the most rapid-selling novel in human history and emerged at exactly the same time that all of this noise about the lack of the absence of gender roles is, is being produced you know on mass it's like perfect female fantasy it's exactly archetypally correct it's beauty and the beast so what the google guys showed was the structure of beauty and the beast although they didn't use that as a referent that the female pornographic fantasy was wild guy um, you know, somewhat careless about the wants and desires of others, attractive to everyone, therefore high status, tamed by the magic of a single woman and brought into a relationship with her. Okay, so, but here's the comical part. This just made me laugh, man. It was like, what were the five categories of most desirable male entity used most broadly in female pornography? Oh, it's so embarrassing. Women, you have to cover your head while I say this. Vampire. Werewolf. Billionaire, surgeon, and pirate. <laughs> oh, okay, another question? Yes. <laughs> 